Hi, today our Riviera Macro is in the Galapagos. And as you can see, I'm surrounded by friendly sea lions. There's a couple of here. There's one right behind the rock behind me, and there's another one here, and etc. etc. And the sea lions don't care, but I'm gonna tell you about the lenses I brought here, and in particular why I'm so happy I brought on this trip my 150 millimeter iris lens. So I've been in the Galapagos for about three weeks now, um, covering the work of a group of scientists and students from San Francisco in California. And therefore I had to bring uh, a number of lenses with me for that, for the photo and video work. And it was a debate uh, when I had to choose the lenses because I wasn't exactly sure. I knew I needed long lenses and also, of course, the classical zoom, etc. And I thought I should bring a macro too. So what happens in the Galapagos, people recommend that you bring at least uh, maybe a 200 or 400 and uh, I wasn't sure. So I brought a 70 to 200 and then I of course brought my uh, trusted 300 PF which proved absolutely invaluable. If there is only one uh, lens, one long lens for wildlife that I, you, you can bring to these islands is the 300 millimeter PF. It's wonderful. The thing is in the Galapagos here, you see the wildlife is not shy. You can approach the crabs, you can approach all sorts of wildlife, the, the lizards, etc. They're not afraid of human. And as for the macro, I thought classical macro or the, the Irix. And the Irix was the perfect choice because it's got a slightly longer focal length. And I'm so glad I made that choice because I didn't use this lens only for macro, I used it for a variety of other purposes. Just a word, um, yes, I'm an ambassador for IRIX, for macro photography. They didn't request this video, they don't even know about this trip and me bringing the lens. So this is really something I wanna get out there and to show you how useful can be uh, 150 millimeter macro lens for a variety of purposes, whether it's photo and video, especially if you have the chance one day to visit the Galapagos. So for me, the first use was photography, and I've used the lens in a variety of situations because, as I said, the wildlife is absolutely not shy of humans. I use this to photograph iguanas lying in the beach. I was able to even to capture images of birds um, as they came very close. And of course, I got images of flowers, I got images of some insects, although there wasn't much time for macro, and all the things that are a bit smaller. But the herons or the pelicans that perch right there on the railing, uh, 100 meters from me, you can approach within, within a meter, and this lens will allow you to do fantastic portraits of them. So really for me, it was, uh, it was actually kind of a surprise um, that this lens would become like the Swiss knife for doing so much of wildlife photography. And of course, coupled with the 300, because sometimes there's a distance, the crabs, for example, the red crabs that all over the place here uh, are quite shy, and the 300 was a better choice for those. Well, the second use uh, was for video. Uh, here I've been filming a lot of video, recording the work of the scientists, etc. And as I've talked about before on this channel, I like this lens for macro videography. So I've used, uh, I've used other lenses uh, for video because this one doesn't have autofocus, so it's a bit more difficult. But I've used it for close-ups in the lab of people pipetting things into tiny wells, etc. Just to get close-ups of the action going into the lab. So it's also been a tool for video in addition to my other zoom lenses. The only thing is, of course, this is a manual lens and it's not adapted to moving subjects. So for example, with the birds flying here and there and uh, you know, flying rapidly away, etc., that's not good. The birds in flight, etc. I didn't use this lens. I used the 70 to 200 with the multiplier. I used the 300 because these are moving subjects. But as most, most animals here actually never move, you see, 
You need never move the guy right here behind me. He doesn't care about me, he's still sleeping. I can get close, get a full face portrait with this, and I have plenty of time to focus. So it matters on moving subjects, but it doesn't matter on the other subjects here in the Galapagos. All right, bit of rain starting now, so it's time to get back to the hotel. I hope you have enjoyed this little postcard from the Galapagos. And if you have questions about the 150 millimeter from IRIX, just drop me questions in the comments. See you for the next video on the French Riviera.